Uh, Tony Fuller uh, is, a, uh, is a CEO of a company called uh, Bio High Tech Global. We've had him on the air before. They are a publicly traded company under the stock symbol BHTG. Uh, you can go to uh, biohightech.com. Uh, Bio. And he is, uh, he is here to talk to us about his company. What's great about this is one of our viewers told us about him. Uh, and his smart solutions that drive zero waste. Tony, how are you, sir? Great to talk to you today again. Hey, I'm doing well. It's good to talk to you. Hey, give us a top down. Last time we talked to you, we had so much email coming in on you guys, and, uh, and, and basically because you are the only person in the 25 years of radio in the 14 years of television that we've talked about waste conversion technology. Yeah. And it was really about changing uh, our landfills uh, by what did you say 80% you're making a huge change talk about that from the top down Tony Yeah, we can take 80% out of the landfill. That's a part of our uh, solution That uh, is in our waste plant in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We basically divert uh, truckloads of waste into our facility we process it we create a fuel we capture recycled materials and only 20% of what went in has to go out to a landfill. So basically, the way that we do that is with food waste, which is a big component of the waste that goes in landfills. And we do that with our digesters. Do you speed up uh, the, we, the process of uh, like, you know, doesn't, doesn't trash make methane or something, all that, or how, how, how do you go about doing that? This is back no, to the we're future. Not, we're not making methane uh, there. We basically speed up a natural process. Right. Basically take and you accelerate you accelerate those things that are in place in this world to uh, to uh, break down waste, and we just expedite it, and we capture uh, usable materials out of that in the plant. So that's the way we do it in the plant. Oh, look at that! Yeah, we're showing that, and we're showing here uh, for our radio audience. You'll have to go back and, and check out the show online. I bet everyone's wearing a mask around that uh, site. <laughs> <laughs> just for sure. We do wear masks around that site. We wore them before COVID. I bet. Outside the building, you don't have to wear a mask. No, it don't uh, stink. Because it's captured inside. There's negative airflow. The waste, you know, you can walk around the building outside. You can cook out. We did a cookout for our people there a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, you don't smell anything outside. Hey, Tony, I got to ask you, you know, uh, you know, there's uh, environmental improvement is a, is a buzzword here that we talk about, whether you're a right-wing, uh, you know, Republican or a left-wing Democrat, it's all about saving the planet. And I think uh, to, to the man and to the woman, everyone's uh, marching in the same direction for that. Um, measurement of waste is essential. Talk about that, because that's one of your metrics. And I think that's a big, that's a big piece of it, to, to understand how much we're generating, because that's, that's how you can, uh, you know, really uh, effectively talk about the impact you're making, correct? It's, it's absolutely a metric. I mean, we know that what you measure, you manage better. So we make sure that we understand what's coming in, not just to our plant, but maybe even more importantly, to our, uh, in our food digesters. Our digesters have the ability to measure waste. So you know how much food is being thrown away. You know uh, what is being wasted there. So it never enters the waste stream, which is a beautiful way to solve that problem. Yeah, I, and, I, and I will tell you, you know, by the way, uh, Tony Fuller is our guest. He is the CEO of a company called BioHighTech Global. BioHighTech Global. You can go to BioHighTech.com and, and talk about uh, what you're seeing here, extending the life of existing landfills, increasing recycling rates. They're also publicly traded under the stock symbol BHTG. We got, these, uh, we got Tony's introduction from one of our viewers, said you got to talk to these guys about this. Uh, what's next for you guys uh, post-COVID? And, and maybe give us an overview of what happened during COVID. And did that help or hurt you, or did it stall anything? And then what happens to you guys in the next 18 months, in your opinion? You know, we're excited about the next 18 months. Uh, COVID impacted our customer base, especially on our digester business. There's no denying that. But we had just announced a major contract with Carnival. We have continued to execute at scale on that contract throughout COVID. So we have learned a lot about ourselves. We've learned a lot about our ability to execute at scale to fulfill this contract. And we're excited about what we're doing for them and what and the potential that we have to do this for many other people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for Carnival, it's not just food waste, it's keeping plastics out of the ocean, right. which is also a huge problem. Yeah, and, and, um, and it, that brings me up to the hospitality industry, because look, you know, tourism is the number one industry in this country, believe it or not. Right. Uh, here in the city of San Diego, where we broadcast from 24% of our labor pool 
has to do with hospitality. When the hospitality industry went south, was that what you're talking about, how you were impacted? Is that a piece of it? Our customers were definitely impacted by it. Absolutely a piece of it for us. That's the good thing for us was that we operate yes. in a number of verticals. Hospitality is one, but hospitals, the government systems, you know, the cruise ships that right. we've talked about. Yeah. We were blessed to come into that with a fairly diverse uh, deployment base. Some so while we saw one piece impacted, uh, it really gave us an advantage to work on some other pieces of the business. Yeah, some of the food I've had at these uh, chicken dinners, I, I'm ready to just, <laughs> just put into the recycling plant immediately. Hey, Tony, I want you to come back with us. His name is Tony Fuller. That's a great He's idea. He's the CEO of BioHighTech Global. You can go to biohitech.com and, uh, and check that out there. Of course, publicly traded with the stock sold BHTG. Smart solutions that drive zero waste. Imagine taking your landfill and not having a landfill. All right.